Okay, let's hurry up. Let's take care of this as efficiently as possible. it up. still some wild vegetables growing around here. All right, let's explore this place from top to bottom. I should use this. So this is a pretty there relic. Really. plants around here. Maybe it's because of the environment. Crisp vegetables. Delicious! It'd be nice if we found something useful. Get 
series. Mission complete. Looks like I... This was a good... Just the... I hope there's something good inside. There's something inside. I wonder what this plant could be used for. be really close to magic. We found something useful. I hope we can find something interesting. I should use this. What's this? I don't understand this material. Is it even useful? Let's take this. Hard work is always important. This metal can be processed into all kinds of things. like a place with all kinds of useful things. Found something you...
gems like this shine if you polish them. lots of stuff. Maybe I'll even find some treasure around here. See anything else we can gather? I should use this. This is. Get this done quickly. Gotcha. I guess 
Ashley. I'll do everything I can. I'll use my full strength for this. I'll finish this. Can you see me? Gotcha. I'll beat you to a fight. It's actually pretty difficult to use gems for imbuing. Even I struggle with it. It looks like we gathered at... to know about the alchemists to repair the water equipment. They might know more about the dusk. What you want to know is how to stop the drought, not concerning the dusk. That's not really... Then what? What do you intend to do? I don't think the things happening in my village and in Stellard are unrelated. That's why I feel like I need to find the truth behind this as an alchemist. I see. That's noble of you. Did you have the same idea? Yeah. I want to help this town with my own hands, too. Even if you have to leave your mother. I can't do anything for my mom right now. I want to at least be someone who she would be proud of. Is that so? Very well. Tell them, Linka. Very well. The alchemist's name is Keith Rip Hazeldine. Keith Rip Hazeldine? It seems he came here to research alchemy from the past, but just happened to find an issue with the equipment. What kind of person is he? He's not much social, but an honest guy. Also, he had an automaton following him. Someone with an automaton following them. Wait, 
Does it move on its own? The name was originally given to human-like machine dolls, capable of autonomous actions. They were created with alchemy in the past, but the technology is lost now. It's extremely rare to see one still in operating condition. The one problem that Keith's visit caused was due to that automaton. Because of that, my son became obsessed. As if he didn't have enough issues already. So that's why Al was asking for more information about automatons. Where did this Keith go? We don't know. Though he did have an interest in this region, so he may be working nearby. I see. He is a man who seeks to find knowledge through his own work. I'm sure you'll meet him if you continue your work. That might take too long. Searching for the truth is a long, frustrating process. You have to be prepared to invest a lot of time. Are we done? I've told you everything I know. Yes, period. Thank you so much. Let's go back to the ship for now. We have to sort through this information. Sounds good. his name. He's an amazing alchemist and he has an automaton following him. That might be enough information. Yes. Although, we don't even know where to go and meet him. What? Shelly, are you intending to go looking for him? Yes. I thought you would intend to do the same. It's true I thought that at first, but even you said so yourself. We need to continue our investigations on our own. Even though we might figure everything out if we meet Keith Griff? You say that, but we don't even know where he is. Also, always relying on others will never solve anything. It's more important to do something with our own strength. Always relying on others? Is that how you view me? I never said that. Why do you always have to take things so negatively? I'm sorry, but I really do want to search for Keith Griff. This is the first real clue we've found to solve Lugian's village problems, after all. I knew you'd say that. Well, I guess I can't help him. Can't help what? In the end, you see the issues facing this town as someone else's problem. Why would you say something like that? That's terrible. Besides, you're the one who thinks my concerns aren't your problem. What? When did I ever say that? You heard that a little issue happened in Stellar, and then you had to rush back from the eastern continent. My village has been affected by drought for a long time already. Everyone's barely hanging on. I know that, but... No, you don't know. There's no way you can understand. People living in such a blessed land could never understand our suffering. You're acting like you're the only one suffering. How stupid. It's true that Stellar is blessed from your viewpoint, but that doesn't mean that everyone living here is happy or blessed. My mom and I have had to work hard to get by. Has something like that happened to her? And I have no idea what to do. Something like that? Did something happen to your mother? That reminds me. Back at Mr. Perry Ann's place, you... It's nothing. Besides, no matter what it is, a spoiled little princess would never understand. I see. Anyway, if we have different ideas about what to do, then we can't help it. Yes. If our goals differ, then there's no need to force ourselves to work together. Yeah, that's right. I agree. This is where we split up. Shelly, the other Shelly is leaving. Just be quiet, Cortez. Is this really okay, miss? It's fine. We should just think about saving Lugion Village. But the problems in our village and Stellard aren't unrelated. We should do whatever we can to ease the burden of saving the village. I'm the representative of the chief. It's only natural for me to have this burden. That's right. My situation is totally different from hers. She doesn't have any burdens. I'll definitely save Lugion. So, what are we gonna do now? We'll search for the alchemist Keith Griff. He seems to know a lot about the dusk. I got it. We'll ask around. You should rest for today. No. I'll go too. I need to go.
game. Shally, I see you're still surviving. Rosnia. Oh, maybe you'd know. Know what? Hmm. So apparently this guy is a really great alchemist, huh? What was his name again? Heathcliff. Have you met him before? No, I haven't. Hmm. Was there something weird about him? He should have an automaton following him. That's it, really. An automaton? Huh. Yes. Do you know about automatons? Of course. And actually, I have an idea about the person you mentioned. Really? Yes. I think you went to the Union. Thank you so much. I'll check it out right now. I hope to meet again before you die. You'd like to know if someone named Keith Griff Hazeldine visited? No, I don't remember anyone. Maybe you should ask Eska. Keith Griff? Yeah, the old man with the mustache. I met him. Sure. Really? Do you know where he went? I don't, but he said he was going to be checking out the area for a while. I'm sure he'll be back at some point. Some point? But, did he say anything else? Oh, uh, yeah. He gave me this alchemy recipe. He said, make this. But I have no idea what it's for. Recipe? Huh. Then why don't you want to try solving the problems together? Uh, may I take it? Huh? something like that after all can I talk about it that was the first time I ever had an argument like that what should I do um is fighting really that bad huh it's nice to get along with someone forever but I think it's actually pretty rare everyone has their own point of view if there's a difference in the way you think you can't get along forever that sounds very sad. That's right. And that's why you talk to people. To get even a little bit closer to them. But I... I said such awful things to Shally. People can't get truly serious with someone they don't care about. Getting mad at or sad about someone is probably because you really cherish that person, Shally. I think that's way more wonderful than just going along with someone and only appearing to be friends on the surface. Now that you mention it, I've never expressed my feelings that much to another person before. I always thought I had to be gentle with others because I'm a chief's daughter, because I don't want to hurt anyone. Shally is the first person you've gotten serious with. I'm sure she'll understand. Eska? Yes, thank you! into letting me do this but I don't know if I can make this myself Shally oh right I know soul said it too but maybe we should just keep going with our own investigation Shally was right why did it turn into an argument I wonder what she's doing she probably hates me anyway I should be helping however I can right now What should I synthesize? What materials should I use?
Okay. Okay, let's begin. Drawing out power from the material. Increasing attribute value of the material. What could happen? I wonder if this will work. Using a useful skill. Increasing attributes. Is this time to finish? I did it! What property should I transfer? go visit her home myself. Why not? Shelly's mom is sick? The chairman found an alchemy book to help ease her condition. Even if it's just a little bit. I need to get this book to Shallot without Natty seeing it. This is a recipe to make heart medicine, right? I believe so. Why can't you let her find out? Natty is still hiding something from her daughter. She was even hiding the fact that she worked as the chairman's secretary in the past. She laughed and said the past is all in the past. But her greatest fear was likely her illness coming to light. I see. And that means your predecessor was... Yes, that's right. That's why she's very important to us as well. Natty is the type of person who tries to carry all her burdens by herself. She could have relied on us more. Maybe that's why Shelly's been acting so strange. No, I'm sure that's not the only reason. But I'm sure it's related. Shelly is the type who tries to carry all her burdens by herself, too. Shelly. If Shelly happens to come by, could you tell her to come visit the corporation and pick this up? Um, if it's okay, I could give the book to her. Really? That would be helpful. Besides, I'm sure she'll be happier receiving it from her friend. Yes. Please lend her strength. We wish to help her in whatever way possible as well. I'll be around if you need me. Oh, I know I heard Shelly talking about her mom with Carrion. Part of me probably just... didn't care, or thought there wasn't time for that. I didn't know anything about Shelly. I don't even know myself. Did I just want to find someone reliable to shove my responsibilities onto? No wonder Shelly would start to despise me. It's no good. Right now, there's no way I can go and give her this book. But maybe if I was able to synthesize the medicine in here... It doesn't matter if she doesn't forgive me. I want to find something, anything I can do for Shally. What should I synthesize? This. Yes. I asked Eska to let me make it. Hmm. I can use this. You have my thanks. Ah. Oh. Um, you fixed the city's water supply equipment, right? Fixed? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. 
That's just a temporary measure. That's good enough for me. Please teach me. The water in my village is drying up, just like it is here. Do you know how to save this city and my home village? I don't. And even if I did, there's nothing I can do. My only goal is to find the truth behind the twilight. No. If you're an alchemist, you should look for the truth yourself, not for the sake of others. You said there might be clues about the dust in the relics and ruins of this region, right? If you study relics from the past, maybe you can find the reason for the droughts. Maybe. I'm heading out. So how about I pay you for that synthesis? You don't have to pay me, but I would like you to teach me one thing. How to synthesize the medicine in this book. gathered up. What's going on? By the way, I wonder if Neo managed to meet up with her older sister yet. Neo? She's an herbalist I know from Colsate. She's about the same age as me, but she's really smart and reliable. According to Neo, her sister was going to head towards Stellar. Maybe they're traveling separately. Do you two know the sister of hers? Nope. According to Neo, she's the apprentice of an alchemist named Keith Griff Hazeldine. Apparently, she's investigating ancient ruins with him. But this Keith Griff guy is actually... Wait, could he be... Tesca, do you know something? I heard about him in Central. He's a highly skilled alchemist. He's also wanted for destroying facilities. Um, I think I've heard that name before. That reminds me. Neo's sister was also wanted for destroying ruins. Like master, like apprentice. Right. Anyway, Eska, you were saying? Uh, um, well, a little while back, a traveling alchemist named Keith Griff visited me. He asked me to synthesize something. Eska, I think that's something you should have immediately reported to Seoul. But I didn't think it was a big deal. I'm sorry. To tell the truth, Keith's apprentice is a friend of mine. But I hadn't even heard rumors about her. She's supposed to have come here, right? And if that stubborn old man is here too, you might unexpectedly run into them.
Difficult. Can I really make this myself? No. This isn't the time for saying such negative things. I need to make this. Ah, <sighs> but first, I should eat some meat and get some energy. Could I take a look at that recipe? Huh? Okay. <sighs> I knew it. It's written like usual. Only I could understand this. Details of materials are the most important part. This medicine is hard to make, after all. Oh, good thing I came here. This person has a very strange air to her. She's really pretty and almost like a fairy. Um, who are you? Oh, sorry for butting in all of a sudden. This synthesis will be very difficult, so I came over to help. Thank you very much. Okay. It's done. I really made it. Was that a dream? Or was she really a fairy? But it's true that she helped me. Her hands were warm. The medicine turned out fine, too. I really managed to make it. What should I synthesize? Trust me? Shally's mother was smiling, just like before, but I said such terrible things to Shally. Will she just think it's too little too late? Hmm? Shalistera? What are you doing in a place like this? Shally's out, you know. Well, Belle, to tell the truth... I see. You really did it, Shalistera! You're pretty amazing! You think so? You worked really hard to make that, right? Of course it'll work. It'll be fine. I hope so. Hey, quit making such a worried face all the time. Smile more! Smile! Okay. Still, to think you managed to catch that stubborn old man and make him tell you how to make it. You're pretty good. Do you know Keith Griff? From the past. We worked together just a little bit. He's probably still as hard-headed as before. Well, there's no harm in meeting him, I guess. Will Bell? <laughs> Just talking to myself. Anyway, about that fairy-like person who helped you make the medicine. Nah, it couldn't be. Is 
that you, Cortez? I'm sorry. I want to be alone right now. I'm not Cortez. It's me. Shally? I heard from my mom that you brought her medicine. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. No, no. Don't worry about it. Natty has been doing a lot to help me, too. But she seems to be feeling a lot better because of that. Thanks. A lot of people helped me make it. It wasn't just me. So I don't really deserve any gratitude. What's that supposed to mean? I'm thanking you, so you should accept it. You're acting pretty rotten. That's not what I meant. My mom was suffering, and I wanted to help her. But I couldn't do anything. Then you brought that medicine, and I really am grateful about it. You can at least let me thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, Shally. Don't apologize. Even I realize I'm just venting my frustration off onto you. But we had an argument like that the other day. Yet you grew up so much while I was just moping around. It seems like you didn't need me after all. I've been left behind. I don't even know what to do. Shally, you big idiot. Shally, you think you were the only one who felt sad? I was too. But I had no choice but to do this alone. You don't need to cry. You're the one who's crying, Shally. I've been thinking all this time about the other day. No, not just that. Everything since coming here. I met a girl with the same name in a city I didn't know. I felt like the heroine of some story, but yeah, that's why I misunderstood. I thought we were special. I thought there was no way we could ever disagree with each other. But that wasn't the case. We just happened to get along and didn't try to get to know each other more deeply. We aren't special. We're just normal girls. Is that no good? No. And that's why I started thinking about things that I could do to help you. I'm with you. Yes, same here. I think the fact that we're different people is why being together gives me such a warm feeling. I wonder why I couldn't figure this out sooner. I really am an idiot. Me too. We were finally able to make amends because of this. I feel like we'll be spending a lot of time together. I'm still worried about things, but we can finally start moving forward. This is Mirica's Atelier. Still, this state. Did something happen? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, was there an earthquake? Or did someone break in here? Of course not. If there's something you want to say, say it clearly. Wait, are you telling me this mess was always here? You're exaggerating. This is normal for an alchemist. Isn't that right, Chow? Um, well, that's... but... I think Mirica's imbuing is really amazing. Uh, I understand how you feel, but you don't need to force yourself. How can you properly imbue with an atelier like this? You'll lose efficiency if things aren't in order. That's not your concern. I know where everything is, so there isn't a problem. I see. If you say so, but still... put this bookshelf in order? No. Then at least let me put away all these tools spilled across the floor. No way. Uh, I see. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm sorry. Mirica is always like this. No matter how much I tell her, she never listens. But she really is skilled at her work. Could you let this slide, Lodgy? It's fine. I understand her feelings. I wouldn't want people messing around with my atelier either. Exactly. If you understand, then leave. Yeah, sorry about that. Just let me ask one last thing. Could you at least let me make a little space on this work table? It's completely covered. What's driving Maji to go so far? 
people you bring over are always so meddlesome, Shell. I don't really mind, though. Should I synthesize? What materials should I use? Is this okay? Okay, let's begin. Using is the time to finish my ice. What property is okay? It's done.
You've really grown, Belle. <laughs> I know, right? You could say I've become more adult-like. Oh, it's Master Wilbel. Do you two know each other? Ah, Shallies. I might have mentioned this before, but she's an old friend. You have apprentices, Belle? Does that mean they're both magicians? Nope. Only that one's my apprentice. But they're both alchemists like you, Aisha. Well, except less experienced. Also, they're both named Shally. Shally and Shally. I see. Those apprentices, huh? I'm Aisha Altugo. I've come to investigate ancient ruins in this area. I'm Shallot Elminus. I'm still just a novice, if you can even call me that. Oh, also, please call me Lot. My name is Shalistera Argo. Please call me Stara. Um, have we met before? <laughs> That'll be a long story, so let's save it for another time. This city's drought seems to be related to what I'm investigating. I think I'll be able to help you. Really? Lot and Stara, right? You seem to get along really well. That's nice. I'll be in the area for a while. If there's anything I can help with, just let me know. Aisha's a really skilled alchemist. You can rely on her. for helping me make that medicine. Uh, um, I heard from Stara that you helped make my mom's medicine. Thank you very much. Hey, you don't need to humble yourself so much. I just did what's natural for an herbalist. Herbalist? You aren't an alchemist? I was an herbalist back in my homeland. Hmm, but I guess it doesn't matter what you call me now. Ah, oh, and that's why you know so much about medicine. More importantly, did the medicine work? Yeah, even the doctor was surprised. He said she would be just fine if she got some rest. I see, that's a relief. But that medicine isn't a complete cure. It just stopped her from getting worse. Really? This isn't just a cold. I can't believe Keith would come up with such a difficult medicine without seeing the patient. It sounds to me like Aisha's very close to Keith, Griff. Can I see how your mother is doing sometime soon? Of course. You're more than welcome, Aisha. That's great, Ma. Yeah, it really is.
Okay, let's hurry up. are absolutely essential to imbuing. Show off my skills and find something good. Something could happen. Minerals are absolutely acceptable. Decide where to go. Let's get this done. I wonder what this plant could be used for. It's pretty rare to find plants around here. Maybe it's because of the environment. Yeah. Uh, there! Chance for a quick kill. Yeah. Help 
Decide where to go. I think we should... Ex I hope we can find something interesting. Decide where to go. Where should I go?
moving. It'll be easy with me. Itch! Let's finish this quickly.
this okay? Okay. Is this okay? Okay, let's begin. Okay. now. What 
should I do next? Hmm, it's going well. value of the material. Begin. value of the material.
attribute value of the material. What should I do next? skill. Is this okay? Should I transfer? Is this okay? Okay, it's done. Level up. What materials should I use? Begin! Using a useful skill. Do my 
best. Okay, okay, let's begin. Using a useful skill. Drawing out power from the material. Increasing attribute value of the material. Carefully, carefully. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Hmm, I'm getting tired. What should I do next?
this okay? Okay, let's begin. Do this. Let's begin. Okay, here I go. Using a useful skill. Using a useful skill. Drawing out power from the material.
materials should I use? Okay, okay, let's begin. I wonder if this will work. Drawing out power from the material using a useful skill. This seems good. Using a useful skill. Attribute value of the material. Drawing out how is this okay? Time to finish my what properties should I transfer? Is this okay? It's done. What materials should I use? Is this okay? It's done! What should I synthesize? Decide where to go. Exciting jobs for us? Oh, Shelly's. We're a little busy right now. Lottie, those documents can be delayed until the day after tomorrow. Could you take care of these first? I got it. I'll get working on those first. Thank you. Please do so. Oh, Eska, please make sure those documents are ready in time for the next postal flight. Okay. Both of you, wait just a little bit. By the way, I need the documents I gave you yesterday by the end of the day. I've already finished that paperwork. Is this good? It's fine, thank you. With this done, we should reach today's goals. Oh, that's a relief. I'm starting to feel pretty tired. Our efforts were worthwhile. By the way, I heard Lachi's work was imbuing alchemy, but it seems like his job now is paperwork. That's right. I heard he was an alchemist who does really amazing work. Yeah, that's right. But Lodgy's also methodical, so he's also really good at paperwork. I mostly carry around the paperwork that's already finished. We're splitting up the work. Yes, it really helps. Although I'll need Lodgy to work even harder tomorrow. I'll have to do even more tomorrow? Yes, the deadlines are on the same day. Is that inconvenient for you, Lodgy? No, there's no problem. I'm fine. Yet he seems to be having a hard time. Yeah. Being capable is an all glory. We got a glimpse of the sad side of it, too.
have you gotten used to Stallard yet? If you need anything, feel free to ask me. <laughs> you really are, Belle. What? I didn't say anything weird, did I? No, you didn't. I was just reminded that you've always been like this. And what are you talking about? You just said I grew up the other day. I was talking about appearances. Inside, you're still helpful and kind, but just a little bit of an overworker. Th this is why ditzy people like her are scary. No wonder that stubborn old man is always lost for words with her. Anyway, I'm an adult woman inside now, too. I don't do childish things like before. So here you are, Master. I was looking for you. Oh, I should too. What were you two talking about? We were just talking about the past. Right. You've known each other for a long time. Aisha, what kind of person was Master in the past? Let's see. Back then, Belle was... Uh, Aisha, what exactly are you intending to tell her? And Shelly, don't ask weird questions, huh? getting so flustered. Yeah, I wasn't intending to say anything weird. For example, in the past, Belle was... Hey! I'm telling you to stop! Shelly, I'll go and visit you later. Just go and continue your training. Aisha, we'll talk about the past when we're alone. What? Why are you so against this? I know, right? Belle is acting weird. There's nothing weird about me! Ugh, whatever. Anyway, we're leaving, Shelly. Huh? Wait up, Master! Should I synthesize? What materials should I use? Is this okay? Okay, let's begin. How about is this a time to finish? I what pop is this? Okay, it's done. What should I synthesize? What materials should I use? Is this okay? Okay, let's begin. Useful skill. Is the time to finish my what property should I transfer? Is this okay? Okay, it's done. I learned a new skill. What's next? It's up to you. Good 
work, everyone. Thanks. Here's a chance for a quick kill. I should be more... Decide where to go. Where are we going next? Let's get this done quickly. This metal can be processed into all kinds of things. Thank <laughs> you. 
uses for their tell me where to go Okay, I'll finish this now. Which properties do you want to keep? This now it's fit. What materials do you want? Come again. You've even got people glued to their paperwork, like usual. Regardless of where you are, there are some duties which must be done. Okay, okay. 
We should take a little break now. Very well. Thanks to Laji, we've made good progress today. Laji was always really good at paperwork after all. No, you're just especially bad at paperwork, Eska. Although, compared to her time in Colsate, she's made a marked improvement. Huh? You got Soul to praise you? That's pretty amazing, Eska. I'm speaking in relative terms. Oh, right. Speaking of Colsate, Katla is here too. I'm glad to keep meeting so many people I know. Now that you mention it, well, it's Katla. If there's a business opportunity, she'll appear anywhere. Since Katla's here, I'm sure Miche is feeling really lonely. But when I told Katla about it, she didn't really react much. That's less a lack of reaction, and more of a lack of awareness of Miche. What? That's terrible! You agree, right, Lachi? Uh, this is an issue between them. I don't think it's something I should be butting into. Hmm, I wonder why Katla doesn't notice Miche's feelings. He made such an appeal to her in everything. Well, Miche didn't exactly explain it clearly. And plus, this is Katla we're talking about. She would probably say, Miche? Oh, you mean one of my customers. I'd be happy if he came shopping again. Or something like that. Wilbel, you sound just like her. <sighs> Poor Miche. Wait. There's someone who likes Kappa? How unexpected. Although that's a bit rude to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see... Everyone, please take your gossip elsewhere. This is a place for work. Yeah. Sorry. We got carried away. Everyone, let's go outside. Oh, right. I found this, so I just had to come drop it off. Sorry for intruding. See you later. By the way, did you have some business here, Shallies? Oh, that's right. But you're on a break now. Shouldn't we save it for later? No. As I said, I'm on duty now. I don't mind if it's work-related. Anyway, what business do you have, Shallies? I see. In that case, we'll confirm it as well. Still, you never seem to get agitated, Sol. All things come through experience. Here we go. 
Attribute value of the material. Drawing out pattern. It is time to finish my what properties. Okay, it's done. from Central. What? It sounds like there's been a development from their investigation. What kind of development? Central didn't know much about the Eastern Continent before. But after reading some of Sol's report on your exploration, they're interested in Fob Village. Now? What kind of timing? A little late, isn't it? Yeah, but government work has so many procedures. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm not trying to blame you for this. Anyway, the historians in Central are trying to come up with a new theory now. Additionally, they want another report on the region. Historians? Yeah. Research about the ties of past civilizations to the Dusk. Wait a minute. Isn't the Dusk a natural phenomenon? Why would it be related to a civilization created by people? Well, that's... You're saying the dusk might not be natural? I, uh, I don't really know. We should ask Sol. 